Let me take you back for a second. The date is the 12th of December 2010. Matt Cardle has just been crowned X Factor winner in front of 19 million viewers, the most popular ever X Factor winner, and he's beaten the likes of Rebecca Ferguson, Sher Lloyd, and even One Direction. It seems Matt has the world at his feet. Superstars like Rihanna are keen to sing with him, and he's just signed a £1 million recording contract with Simon Cowell's record label. But what went wrong? Why has Matt disappeared from the limelight, and where is he now? Here's the lowdown. Lies and Deception When Matt first auditioned for the show, he famously revealed that he was a painter and decorator who hated every minute of his job. The truth was that this was just a made up sub story, something he came up with because it sounded more relatable for the viewers at home. In reality, by his own admission, Matt says, I was doing anything for cash when I auditioned for that show, but that sounded the best. Matt's real background was much more shady and sinister. Matt had actually worked as a male escort and he signed up for the escort agency at the suggestion of a stripper that he was dating at the time. He also revealed that had he not won the X Factor, he would probably be starring in the adult film industry. And it gets worse. Matt had a very wild side. In fact, he'd actually had a number of brushes with the law before becoming famous. He'd been arrested on two separate occasions, once after cocaine was found in his car and once for being drunk and disorderly. It seems his public persona, the boy next door image that he was trying so hard to convey, simply wasn't the real him and it would all soon come crashing down. Addiction Problems After The X Factor, Matt soon descended into a dark place, becoming addicted to drugs and alcohol. Blaming the stresses of fame on his addiction, and claiming he needed more support from The X Factor judges, Matt was unable to deal with the limelight, and he says he turned to drugs and alcohol to run away from how he was feeling. At his worst, Matt was a functioning alcoholic who was taking a daily mix of Valium and Tramadol, commonly known as Hillbilly Crack whilst also snorting illegal drugs. Matt hit his low point when his drug dealer got so worried about the state that he was in that he refused to sell Matt more Valium. This resulted in him having a full-blown fight with the dealer, desperate to get his hands on more drugs. The dealer was so concerned that he called Matt's brother. Matt explains, The dealer called my brother and was like, I think your brother's in a bit of a mess. I just had this little meltdown in the middle of Heathrow Airport. I posted my airplane ticket in the post box and just collapsed on the floor. It wasn't pretty. Can you imagine how low he must have been to have such a public meltdown in the middle of one of the busiest airports in the world? It was only when Matt's brother forced him to go to rehab that he was able to confront his demons. Things had got so bad that Matt even downed Valium and an entire bottle of whiskey whilst in the car on the way to rehab. He's convinced that had he not gone to rehab, he would be dead today. Legal Proceedings In 2017, Matt found himself in the middle of legal proceedings with Ed Sheeran, although interestingly, it was Matt's writers, not Matt himself, who sued Ed. The claim was that Ed Sheeran copied Matt Cardle's song Amazing, practically note for note. Amazing had been written for Matt by Martin Harrington and Thomas Leonard. In their legal papers against Ed, they stated, the copying is, in many instances, verbatim, note for note copying. Whilst Matt's writers were seeking £16 million in damages, we will never know how much they actually ended up receiving, if anything at all, as the matter was settled privately and didn't make it to court. Love Life Matt's always been very popular with the ladies, but it turns out he and the now Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle, nearly had a thing. Back in 2015, months before she met Prince Harry, Meghan was a newly divorced single, spending a lot of time in London. When Matt followed her on social media, because he was a fan of the TV show, Suits, he was amazed that she immediately followed him back. Even more surprising was when Meghan sent the first message to say that she was a big fan of his, and they began sending flirtatious private messages to each other. Soon, Meghan suggested meeting up, and although Matt was apparently very flattered, he had just met his girlfriend, and he realised that taking things further would be inappropriate. But rather than letting Meghan know, he ended up ghosting her and not replying to any more of her messages. And that's not the only famous person he's been romantically linked to. Matt famously shared a passionate kiss with Mel C from the Spice Girls for the music video of their single Loving You. But it seems there may have been more to it than just a music video. When asked if there was anything going on between them, Mel reportedly responded with six seconds of slightly nervous giggling 
followed by five seconds of total silence. Music and acting. In his music career to date, Matt has had a combined album and single sales of over 2 million copies. Unfortunately, the vast majority of those sales were immediately after X Factor, and since leaving Simon Cowell's record label, and since his spell in rehab, his singing career hasn't gone too well. He's had a number of albums, but failed to make any notable impact on the charts. For example, his 2014 album Porcelain was an independent release without a record label, and his last album, Time To Be Alive in 2018, peaked at a lowly 28th position, only staying in the charts for one week. But it's not all doom and gloom. In fact, it seems Matt found a new role for his talents. In 2015, it was announced that Matt would star in the lead role of the musical theatre show Memphis, a huge achievement considering it was his first ever acting gig. And his acting clearly hit the right notes as he won the Best West End Debut Award for his performances in the show. Since then, he's continued to act in musical theatre with roles in shows including Strictly Ballroom, Jesus Christ Superstar and Falsettos. And so, although his singing career seemed like it might be over and sadly like it never hit the heights it was expected to, Matt Cardle, the actor, looks to be very much here to stay. Not everyone is as lucky as Matt. Click on top to watch what happened to Susan Boyle, or you can click the video below if you prefer something else. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if this was your first time watching us, we'd love to have you subscribe for more Where Are They Now videos. Thanks for watching guys.